Is it? Yes, I know. I uh, was asked to say a few words um, uh, about Petra, Petra's work, uh, Petra's book, etc. And uh, unfortunately, Petra didn't really get through to me until last night, in which I said, well, hey, you know, would you mind if I based it on uh, those comments I uh, used uh, when we had her up to MIT uh, last, uh, I guess, last fall? And she says, oh, yes, excellent. Um, and uh, I, I find this to be a, a little inappropriate, let's say, in, uh, to give a, what should really be a party. Uh, and I wrote a little bit of intro to um, make the transition seem a little bit more logical. So I'm really not going to do what was just Bill. I'm really just going to do a kind of uh, toast to the uh, kind of uh, well, the incredible hard work and the incredible dedication it takes to produce a book to the uh, levels at which uh, uh, Petra has done with Inside Outside. So it's a great pleasure to say a few words today on behalf of Petra and the greatly anticipated and long anticipated release of her book Inside Outside. I myself have spent the last year, literally the entire year, scheduling and rescheduling invitations to Petra to Cambridge <laughs> so we could host her first uh, book premiere at MIT. Now, as a uh, uh, former uh, editor at uh, Zone, I know, I think, a thing or two about the miseries and splendors of bookmaking, especially the type of bookmaking in which the form and the content and the very material of the book itself, the book object, are inseparable parts and contributors to the overall meaning. There's little room for compromise once one approaches a certain threshold point. That is, you the author, we the author, must absorb the compromise in time and expense in order not to have it be absorbed in the object itself. So for every book, that you have right now in your hands. Another exists in a recycling bin somewhere in Holland. Those books that didn't meet the criteria of acceptability. The book was redone and redone until right many times. A little like the Hermes handbags that none of us own, where one false stitch or blemish in the skin and the whole $10,000 shebang is tossed into the incinerators. I mean, it's amazing to think of 3,000 of these things tossed away. And it is not an affect. Did I hear four? Did I hear five? They only printed 4,000? Now, that's a crime that they're going to pay for certainly very soon, so make sure you buy them up and give them away as gifts. Um, I'm not paid to say that. And I would say, I, I want to insist that it is not an affectation or a form of misplaced punctiliousness. Rather, a commitment to the book and what it is capable of being and doing in an age which has done nothing but erode the power and prestige of the narrative presentation of ideas. Petra's book is here today in its final form and beauty because she and those who she worked with on it had the courage and patience to believe that books and what they convey matter and are not just vehicles of images and are transitory thrills. And finally, Chris, I'm not reading the rest of these pages, I promise you, just this first paragraph. It's also, I'd like to say, a fine bit of irony that the party for the book, uh, as it's finally happening here in the US, is actually being hosted right here at the storefront, the site of Petra's first major, I believe, American exhibition. And I would say, undeniably, the uh, turning point um, in the dissemination, and in some ways the acceptance and recognition of the importance of her ideas, especially uh, to the extent that they had been largely absorbed by architects uh, of uh, greater name and renown uh, up until then. So I mean, that exhibition, which is a good three or four years ago, uh, was for me an incredible watershed, and I've known her for 20 years. It, never, it was never clear to me that the, the incredible scope of um, and frankly, and depth. Uh, I will say that you know Petra, uh, bottom line, is doing something, uh, is teaching us to think in an entirely new way. And I'd like to say that uh, it's also a fantastic coincidence that Sarah Herda, the organizer of that exhibition, just happened to be 
walking by on the street today. Uh, as they don't make anyway, uh, thank you very much, and uh, yeah. cheers.